going to be doing a sh really short video for you today. Well, hopefully it's short. Um, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about some summer hacks for flies and fly control, and I'll show you some of the stuff that I use and let you know how it works in the pricing to give you guys just a rough idea of how I do things around here. And if you guys want to go out and buy any of this, I'll let you know how it works. So enjoy. So right here, I have some of the fly sprays that I have on hand right now. Um, I have the Piranha Wipe and Spray, the Endure Ultra Shield, and the Smart Pack Outsmart, as well as the SWAT right here. So I started out the summer with the Piranha Wipe and Spray, only because um, Walmart was having a sale on that stuff, um, because they were getting all of their horse stuff off the shelves. I think they realized that they were not going to sell much horse stuff at Walmart. So those were like five bucks a bottle. Um, but from anywhere else, they usually range for a 32 ounce bottle anywhere from like 12 to $15, maybe more. Um, but the Piranha did work, um, but like most fly sprays, it only lasts a, an hour maybe, maybe a few hours if you're lucky. So, um, what I don't like about the Piranha is it's really, it's oil based, so it's really heavy and it just probably makes the horses feel really icky. So that's what I don't like about it. Um, the smell's really nice and I guess it works, but I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of it, but I'm using it until it's gone. I still have three bottles left out of like six. Um, so also, I found with Spinner that he may or may not have been allergic to it. He did, he is broken out in hives still. Um, I thought it was from the fly spray, so I switched him over to stuff I knew he wasn't allergic to. And he still does get the hives every once in a while. I think it may be from the heat or the flies. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. So, as an alternative, I bought this Endure. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, I brought the 32 ounce bottle of Endure um, to for him. I know this stuff does work, but anymore the flies are just so, like, resistant to any fly sprays because they've been used so much and the flies just don't care anymore. Um, so not, no fly spray is really working very well right now and it's not just me. So this usually is about 24 bucks a bottle, which is crazy, but it does work and don't let the fly sprays fool you. They always say they last for like 14 days and you're lucky if they last you an hour. Yeah, right there. But it is a good fly spray. I do recommend it. It is a little pricey. And the same thing with the Ultra Shield. This is just a splash that I have left from last year. Um, I do like the Ultra Shield. It does work, but pretty much the same thing with any other fly spray is it only lasts a little while, and that's usually around $19 or $20 a bottle um, from my local tractor supply. Now, I will give you guys a, um, a little tip on fly sprays. I have so many different kinds because I like to rotate my fly sprays from year to year. Um, I usually use two to three different kinds a year, and I don't use the same kind all year because... Like I said, the flies pretty much get immune to the fly spray and it just stops working. Um, but when I do find a fly spray that works, I usually use it for a couple of years until it stops working. And then I switch to something else. But I don't use this, like, I don't use all the different fly sprays in one year. I usually give them a gap. And then the next thing I have over here is the Outsmart uh, Smart Pack stuff. This stuff's all natural and I have yet to try it, but this came free with like my last order of supplements, which I thought was really nice. So I will let you guys know how this works. I have not tried it yet. And then something I would really recommend for the summertime is this SWAT ointment stuff. Um, obviously don't put this all over their body, but it's for like special spots that get bitten up especially, or if they have a wound, it just keeps the flies off. The next thing I would highly recommend for your barn is these Captivator fly traps. They smell absolutely awful and they are absolutely disgusting when they're full, but you just fill this halfway with water and then put, the, put a packet of fly attractant in and these will literally be full of flies. And then you have to like take it outside, let it sit until all the flies die and dump it out and then uh, either buy a new trap or, um, <coughs> sorry either buy a new trap or you can get the refill ones for these. Um, like I said, they smell absolutely awful, but they work like crazy. You have no idea. Viewer discretion is advised on this one, and I'm sorry if this grosses anyone out, but this is what a full one looks like. And I'm gonna spin it around. And as you can see, there's a bunch of dead flies and maggots in there, and unfortunately there's some on the top that aren't dead. 
Um, but if you leave this sit for like a couple weeks, they will all die and then you can go dump it and it smells awful. But like I said, they work amazing. Next on my list of things to buy is a long extended nose, ho general. A long extended nose with ears fly mask. These are just the derby ones from Tack Wholesale. Um, they work pretty well. They're very similar to the Cashel. And as you can see, there's so many flies on these poor horses. I feel awful, but they're fly sprayed and they have masks on. So they're serving their purpose for sure. And General has one as well. Another thing I would highly recommend on anyone's horse is a fly sheet. Um, you can get fly sheets anywhere in all different weights and sizes and different types. Um, this one is like the, similar to the Duramesh uh, from Schneider's. This is just a Highlander one that I got from Jeffers for 60 bucks. It came with a belly attachment as well as the neck cover, but the neck cover is way too big on this. Um, I would have these on the horses right now, but it's also 90 degrees and it's just way too hot to put these on the horses. But when it is cooler, I'm sorry, the wind's probably messing up this video. When it's cooler, I would definitely have these on the horses. And for general, I have a Schneider's mesh sheet with belly band. It's really dirty right now, as well as the neck cover. So yeah, I would highly recommend all of these things to you guys. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please feel free to ask. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks guys.